Greetings to you. A hadith that uh, mentioned that when you shake the hand of a Jew or a Christian, you have to wash your hand. This is not a correct hadith. This is not a sound hadith. As a matter of fact, if you shake anyone's hand, you should wash your hand, right? But to say that this is from Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, no, that's not true. But I actually had the experience that would make me say, anyone I shake their hand, I would uh, just like to wash my hand after that. Why? I'll tell you why. I was invited for an iftar in Ramadan and the Minister of Finance, I don't want to say what's his name and which year. The Minister of Finance, he was in the washroom, I was in the washroom, he was standing, using the washroom while he was standing. When he finished, he did not even came he did not come to the sink while I was in this by the sink area and washing my hand. He did not even come and he did not wash his hand left in the way out in the way out. I did not even shake his hand. I greeted him from a distance. Thank you for your dinner. Thank you for your invitation. Right. So therefore, do not say Christians or Jews. Just say anyone, including Muslims. You shake their hand. Sometimes you have to wash your hand. You don't know where's their hand been, right? Even though Muslims, mashallah, so clean and cleansing all the time and they're making wudu five times a day or less. But uh, uh, sanitizing and all these things, it's originally from Islam. And I have the proof for that. So anyway, don't attach something to Rasulullah where he has nothing to do with it. Stay blessed.